We're going to do a, a comparison today of our Photonic Health handheld lights. And the first light we're going to start with is that of our standard light, our first light that we develop, and it is a the silver one. It's a very good quality multi-grade LED light, which um, has a very simple to use where you just twist the end, turn it on, apply it to the animal. It does a great job on acupoints. It does a great job on carotid artery for antiviral. It does a pretty good job on muscles, um, hard surfaces like horses feet and hooves. Not so much, there's not quite enough energy to get through. And um, it has another cool feature which is you can turn it off and then you can manually pulse. So that way when you apply that to an animal that is sensitive to lights, you can pulse it. I'll do it on her shoulder. I can pulse it and then turn on the light so they get used to it. And then from there, we can just apply the light. Um, it will do great penetration, but it takes a little more time because there's not as much energy as some of our lights, but uh, it's a, it's, it is our bread and butter and our staple that we've had with our company since the beginning. So crush proof to 2,500 PSI, it also is water resistant to 150 feet and it just lasts a lifetime and their lifetime warranty. So now when we look at our next level of our handheld lights, it's our multi-grade light and that is our multi-light. This is my newest design. It's a very, very versatile light that does great penetration because it has a double focus light, a lens on the front producing almost as much energy as my Progen 2 does at high when you talk about milliwatts per centimeter squared. But in broad base, it is more focused so it doesn't do as much broad base as what my standard light does. So my standard light is still my light to go to when I do carotid artery work, even though this will work just the same. So it has a built-in frequency that is proprietary. Um, this frequency works with the skin to help penetration and skin healing, skin to dermis level. And then it has three levels to it, three lights to it. So you have red. Of course, the red is at 660 nanometers. In penetration wise, like I said, per milliwatts per centimeter squared, it's right up there with my Progen 2. But then it has the outside of the light, which gives you a more bigger, broader, area that it can handle. We also have some, this will penetrate a hoof wall, as you can see by the photo above, where we can apply it to there and we'll get into the dermis part of the foot to bring that inflammation in the foot, which is a really amazing, great thing and works very well in the back of the foot on all the cartilage. Um, then it has blue, and this is actually an ultraviolet blue, and um, this works amazing with anything that has a bacterial on uh, more of a surface level. So anything from MRSA to rugger bacteria, open wounds, I use this to kill bacteria and studies have shown that you can actually kill bacteria in 30 seconds when you apply it. So that's what's really good. So when I have an open wound, I always hit it with the blue and then come back with the red afterwards. And then you have the green. The green is our new favorite color. The green is calming to the body, calming to the animals. We put it on the intang area of the, of, the, of the animal. We don't shine directly into it. It will enter through the eye of, of the animals and go right into the pituitary gland, creating melatonin, which will then put them into parasympathetic mode or the calming and relaxation. I've had horses that I'm getting them out of colic, do all the colic points in red. Some people have been doing the points in green and hit the yin tang area, the horse blows out, walks away and they're all done. So I've seen it work multiple, multiple times that way. So the other thing that is really good with the design is because it has the silver front, which you can hang on to. Um, you've seen some videos before where we talked about that it's positively charged. So when we put this onto the animal, it's seeking ground into the nucleus. So that works really, really well. And then the switching system on this is that it's an on off, but if you turn it on once, all you do is have to do a half push and you can go through the colors really fast. So you don't have to sit and go on off, on off, 
on off and not know where you're at so just one time on and then you can cycle through the colors without having to do anything and then it has an automatic timer that shuts off in 10 minutes so if you accidentally leave the light on you won't sit and use your battery up so those are great functions that come with the multi-light so in comparison of our handheld lights, we now are going to look at our professional model, which is what we call our Pro Gen 2. The Pro Gen 2 is our gold one. It has, it's all gold. It also has where it is a positive charge in housing. So when we use it, we're seeking ground when we're, when we're going through it, but it has multiple settings. So the first setting we're going to go into is low. So the low is stronger than that of my um, standard light. But low is used for a lot for um, acupoints, carotid artery, for viral, um, any kind of those kinds of work. And then the next level I go into is high, which then is seven times stronger, producing almost 200 milliwatts per centimeter squared, which means that's a lot of energy coming in and uh, or 700 total milliwatts output power. So when I put this on high, I go one, two, now it's on high. You got lots and lots of power. You guys can probably see this in the light. This will penetrate the hoof wall of a horse into the dermis and eliminate the um, swelling and inflammation of a foot. Why is that important? Who's all heard of laminitis in horse's feet? So if you can reduce the swelling, get the circulation going again, it, it gets the blood flow to go through your foot and takes care of the problem. And that's huge. It also works wonderful at the back of the foot to, to flood the whole area of the cartilage of the back of the foot of the horse and stimulate that. So I use this light all over the horse's feet on high. I also use it for muscle release and deep tendon issues. And we use it for whichever direction the hyoid is off on a horse. So that's really, really good. And the high will, will find, seek the low power in any of the other lights. So if I use a standard light or a multi-light, I can seek these two lights together when they're at different powers. I have found it works better to be different powers than the same power. It will work same power, but it works best being two separate. So doing hyoid release, I put it on one side of the horse or a dog, and then I put the other light on the other side. It will draw towards it will release the side that's off to draw back to where it's supposed to go back to center. So that's pretty cool. And then the last setting is that of a pulse. So when I'm pulsing on an animal, well, you have to see how she's seen that versus, or felt that versus uh, the regular. So it, it is for anything that is chronic or stagnant or has a memory to them. So if you use it on their body, they will tend to override the brain and allow it to heal. So this proprietary frequency that I'm using will trick the brain into healing. So where are some good times that you'd wanna use that? A lot of times I use it on scars, gelding scars, anything that had a traumatic injury to it, anything that is not healing. So if, if this is an older injury, a lot of times I'll start out with this and then just go back to regular red light. So. Three, three things it does is it's got low, great for acupuncture work, great for carotid artery work because it's not so much energy, it's going more broad base. Then you got the high, high is great for horse's feet, deep tissue areas, um, areas where you need a lot of energy, horses or dogs with like um, ACL tears or CCL tears, different things that where you need some energy to start the healing. And then you have the pulse feature, which is for anything that's chronic or has a memory to it. So that's the wonderful things with my ProGen 2.